Let's replace the standard PSC blower motor in this 80% efficient furnace with the Azure Digimotor. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is configure the motor for operation. And although this looks like a lot of wires, the harness is actually quite simple. Let's divide it into two parts. The first part is the setup portion. And the blue jumper here uh, determines if the motor is going to operate as an X13 motor or a PSC style motor. Today we're replacing a PSC motor, so we'll leave the jumper closed. The red wires determine the motor voltage, and the motor comes from the factory shipped as a 230 volt motor in the open position. By closing the jumper, the motor becomes a 115 volt motor. And the third pair of wires is rotation, and the motor comes from the factory wired for counterclockwise operation that would be opened. If we wanted clockwise rotation, we would simply connect the jumper but we'll leave it open in this situation. Next we will plug in the harnesses and the first harness is simply the speed tap harness and that plugs in like this. And next is the power harness and that plugs in below like this. Now the power, power harness simply has a neutral and a ground on it, that's all that is. The speed taps are 115 volt speed taps in this application and they connect up to the control board where the old PSC motor wired. Despite having all these wires, it's really no different than what we took out. These are the 115 volt speed taps from the old motor. There's a neutral in here and a ground. And we even have a rotation jumper here. Okay, I have the Azure mounted inside the blower housing. And I want you to notice that I've got the wires coming down and not up from the motor. We want the wires coming down so if any moisture gets on these it won't roll back into the motor control module. I also used a wire wound belly band to install this motor and I like these types of belly bands because there's more uh, openings here for the motor to breathe when this is installed. If you do use a banded type motor mount make sure that the solid band doesn't uh, cover too many of the vent holes on the motor itself. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take the ground of the neutral from this wire harness and we're going to go ahead and run it up to the top of the uh, furnace. After connecting the ground of the neutral to the appropriate connections up above, we want to uh, attach the learning harness or programming harness to the motor. This is the harness that allows the motor to go through a temporary learning mode at setup to allow the motor to auto size to the application. We'll make that brown and white connection. We'll go ahead and run this up to a 24 volt connection and a 24 volt common. We also need to bring up speed tap number five uh, simply as a means to give uh, power to the motor in order to, for it to run. So we're going to take the speed tap five up to an L1 connection. The ground wire has come up and we've connected it to the chassis right here. We've got the neutral from the motor going up to a neutral terminal on the board. We've got this red high speed tap coming up. We need to actually go over to an L1 connection temporarily for the auto sizing process. So we'll go up to L1A on the board right here. And then we've got this brown and white learning harness. This comes up to the 24 volt connections up on the board. It has a piggyback connector on both uh, leads, so we can simply remove the existing harness, plug this in, and then reapply the existing harness. Next, let's auto size the motor. We want to close the blower housing. In this example here, I don't have any ductwork hooked up, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this open. But you want to close that. You want to make sure the air filter is clean. And you want to make sure that all the uh, supplies and returns are open and, and un unobstructed. With everything ready to go, we'll go ahead and flip power onto the system. And the motor will be receiving a signal to go ahead and run. And it's going through an auto sizing right now. It's just now coming on. It will run for 60 to 120 seconds and actually program the torque on each of the speed taps that are appropriate for this application. So it's really a custom installation every time you install Azure. Okay, the motor is slowing down now. Now it's really important that you allow the blower wheel to come to a complete stop before you remove power. The motor has to stop completely to ensure that the program uh, takes, if you will. Okay, it stopped. At this point I can actually remove power, flip the system off, but I want to show you what happens if you don't do that. If maybe you walk away and check your cell phone or something. So if you leave everything on uh, during the auto sizing process and you walk away, the motor will actually come back on again 
because it's receiving a run signal, right? That speed tap number five is energized. So the motor will come back on, the blower will be back up and running. The process is complete though. The motor has been programmed and you're fine. You're good to go. You can do this process of auto sizing as many times as you like. So if you make a mistake the first time, you can redo it. You can redo it as many times as you want. Let's complete this installation. I've removed the brown and white learning harness from the board and from the motor and restored the 24 volt uh, wire harness. The high speed tap number five can, re can be removed from L1 and connected to its normal location which is over on the blower control board to the high speed tap. And then we brought up the other three speeds from the motor and we'll connect these up to medium high, medium low, and low. And that is all there is to installing the Azure motor. It really wires the same as a standard PSC motor with the addition of the auto sizing process. But that process allows you to have a custom installation on every single install. and allows you to have only two motors in your truck, one that co covers up to a half horse and one that covers from a half to a one horse.